Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Shally here, let's get into it. So I've been having a lot of conversations with other people about positive thinking, negative thinking, positive speech and negative affirmations and speaking negatively over yourself and others in situations. And the question that keeps coming up is, does positive thinking really work? Does speaking positive words really work? Does it really change your situation? Does it make you feel better instantly and just have everything solved and figure out? Yes and no. So you know, if you take a rock and you throw it into the water, it's gonna hit the water and it's gonna like ripple effect, right? Like there's gonna be ripples that go out very, very far from that rock hitting the water. Think of your thoughts as that rock. So as soon as you have a thought about something with like a very strong emotion behind that thought, it's gonna create a ripple effect. So other thoughts that are a match of that thought that are similar to that thought, whether it's the same thing you're thinking about or the same type of feeling it may give you, it's gonna start rippling and it's gonna ripple in your mind. And it's gonna be like this thought, then this thought, then this thought, it's just gonna keep like unfolding like that have you ever had a day where you started and you might have like stubbed your toe and then like your purse or something got hooked on the door handle right after and then you spilled your coffee and then this and then as that's going on you're like oh this keeps happening she keeps getting worse why does it keep happening and you keep like feeding into that it's almost it's like it's creating a ripple and more and more and more and more are happening it's not that necessarily if you're like okay everything's good nothing bad's gonna happen to me anymore and it just like stops it that's not necessarily what happens but what does happen is when you start to think positively, it like it stops this negative ripple like train that was heading this way, it puts it to a halt and then it like course corrects. And then you start, okay, you have like a positive thought and then you have a more positive thought and a more positive thought and then that starts gaining momentum as this is weakening. So your positive thought momentum, your positive thought ripple starts going. And I know in life really crappy things can happen and there's anger and frustration and sadness and all of those negative emotions that we don't like feeling that are, but they're a part of our human experience happen. And like I said, sometimes when you're just like, okay, let me think positive and like forget about what's going on. It's like, sometimes it just doesn't work. It just, it's hard for you to get out of that negative emotion. Cause it like encompasses you. It like, you feel it in your body because you're feeling it. It's not even just you're thinking it, you're feeling it. And what I found is one of the quickest ways to change your emotional energy is to express gratitude. Whether that's literally saying out loud, like I'm so grateful for this beautiful day outside. I'm so grateful that I have clothes to wear. I'm so grateful for this lunch that I just had. It was delicious. Or I'm so grateful for whatever. Even if you take it a step further and start writing down things you're grateful for, what that does is it starts to get your mind thinking of things that you enjoy, things that are good for you, things that are going good in your life, that are going well in your life. You're expressing gratitude. And when that happens, it starts to put your body and your mind in a state of peace and ease. And although, you know, those negative situations and that made you mad or frustrated or sad might still be present in your life, you've now calmed down and you're in a better state of ease and peace. And honestly, happier because you're not as like tense and stuff you know so you're happier and then when you're in that state it's a lot easier to figure out how to solve these unpleasant situations and how to get back on track of just feeling better vibrating higher you know just feeling the love and the peace and the happiness because I know when we're pissed off and we're like really angry like the last thing we want to hear is like think positive be positive and it's like Oh, I'm still angry or frustrated. I want to express my emotions, which is you need to do that. Like that is very important. You need to feel it to heal it. And then once you feel it, filled it and then healed it. <laughs> once you feel it, then you can and calm down and just calm, regulate your nervous system, calm down and got into another state. Like I said, with gratitude and got into another state of peace and happiness, then you can start thinking more positively and you can start coming up with better solutions. Because to be honest, even if there's a situation going on that stresses you out and is frustrated, more stress and, and frustration and anger and stuff isn't going to help you to solve it any faster or any more efficiently. It's better when you're more calmed down, you're in an easier state of mind and you can think straight. When you have positive thoughts and you're thinking of positive things, you know, starting a ripple effect and it's like more positive things, more positive things. And it's like you become a magnet to seeing and attracting more people, situations, circumstances that help you to feel more positive. So positive thinking does work. It's just sometimes your route of getting to it or like staying on that positive ripple effect, that positive train might just take a little bit of course correction, just a little bit to just stay on that path. And like I said, it's normal for us to detour off that path. We're humans, we live in this 
wild world and there's things that happen all the time, but it's okay because there are other ways that we can start to feel better again. And one of my favorite things to do is to do something that you love doing. Do something that you like doing that has no, not necessarily like an outcome or that you have to do it by like a certain deadline or a, something that you don't really necessarily judge yourself for, whether that's cooking or I don't know, going on a walk, singing, dancing, painting, like anything that you genuinely enjoy doing. When you start doing things that you like doing, you're gonna feel happy because you like doing these things. And when you start to feel happy and you start to feel good, it is gonna to help to take your mind off of whatever's frustrating you or annoying you or pissing you off. And then it's gonna help you to start feeling happier and thinking happier thoughts. And you're getting excited because you're creating or you're you're hanging out with people you love or you're just listening to music that you love and you're it's getting you happy and it's getting you that happy emotion and positive vibration. And then your the ripple effect is gonna start. And then you're gonna start thinking more positive thoughts and having a more positive mindset and attracting more positive things to you. So even though we can get into negative thought spirals and like negative loops, there are ways to turn that around. And it's honestly a lot easier than you think. And the more that you do this, the more that you start expressing gratitude, the more that you catch yourself when you're feeling negative or you're thinking negative or you're talking shit or you're gossiping, or you're doing any of these things, the more you're self-aware and catch yourself doing this and course correct, the easier it'll be for you to just naturally course correct. Like you won't have to like, like go down this negative thought spiral for you to like pull yourself out of it. You'll just be like, okay, like I see where that's going. Let me just like head in this direction instead. I do that a lot when I'm talking to some of my friends and family. Like, yes, when they're venting to me about stuff, I'll listen to them and validate their emotions because their emotions are valid. But if I see that they're kind of going down a negative thought spiral, I'll let them go, whatever. And then like kind of as the conversation's kind of like dying down, I will literally bring up something completely random that is not even about what we're talking about, but it's something that I know that they enjoy. I'll be like, like my mom, for instance, like really loves houses and interior design and stuff. I'll be like, oh my gosh, did you see what they were doing on that HGTV show? Like that new show so good. And like, I love the way they were building that. She's like, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we start talking about that. And it's almost as if like she forgets about like that inconvenience that she just had that she was just so passionately complaining about. And we start talking about things that are more positive. And then she's in a more positive mindset. And then she's in a better state to solve whatever situation she was just dealing with. I've consciously been like monitoring my thoughts and my mindset for years now so it's pretty automatic for me to just be like okay I realize that I'm going in this direction that I want to let me let me express gratitude let me do something I enjoy let me get outside let me change locations like let me shake off this energy so I can feel better so when I notice the people around me that and they're like staying stuck in that it's easier for me to like catch on to it and like help them change it like I said the more that you just like course correct and change the easier it becomes and then you'll just become more of a positive person like you will have more positive thoughts more optimistic forward-thinking thoughts than negative ones it'll just be your natural state of mind so yes thinking positive does really work it really does work and it really helps you to just live a better lifestyle and to solve your problems easier and to just feel better about yourself and that's not to like demonize negative thoughts and like this isn't about toxic positivity or anything like that. It's not like we're like, no, 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 no negative, no negative, can't hear it, can't see it, can't talk about it, can't deal with it. Like, no, we are humans. We have emotions, we have feelings, things that come up. And like I said, you gotta feel it to heal it. And when you feel it and you release it, then it's like, now what am I gonna do next? Am I gonna wallow in this shit? Am I gonna sulk in it? Or am I gonna do something or go somewhere else or act in a different way to help me get on a more positive train? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, share, subscribe, send it to somebody that you know might be a little bit more on the negative side. And you just know that if they started to speak to themselves better and think more positively, things would flow in their life so much better. That was a hard pill for me to swallow in the beginning, but once I swallowed it and I adjusted it, I feel so much better. <laughs> I love you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.